greetings, salutations, and welcome to today's requested video. So the person who requested this video is orange, has a white belly, loves snick snacks, and in their word, louder than a lion, he is a champion. This one will hear Khajiit roar. So, what we've got is here Khajiit roar. It is a Pilfer Halalu list, running Sench Grave Prowler as the top end, Rim and Siege Engines, Thieves Den, and various Pilfer shenanigans. Daggy Rot to pull them. So we're gonna go ahead, queue it up on ladder, and see how it does. Also, stay hydrated. It is good for you. And if you are Khajiit, I can confirm sink water is the best water. Straight from the sink. Don't settle for any of this taken from the sink and put in a bowl nonsense. Alright. Up against Seder on Ring. So we're looking for early pilfers. We get a 4 drop, a 5 drop, a 6 drop. And a 3-drop utility card. If he is aggro, we will have lost the game by then. The moons give this one strength. We will have lost the game by then. We can drop Rimmon, but then we're following up with Master... We've got our early game utility. That's not rigged. Oh, he is Rimmon. Oh, we're too slow for this. We might not be with Master of Thieves, allowing us to attack twice. But he's going to hit Drain on one of these eventually. Double Rim and double one drop Pilfer. Kudos to this guy. His top decking game is on point. There's the drain on that one. Didn't hit drain, so he's only got six drain. I could put Snake Tooth on you for one turn. That heals me for 10, but he's got 14 there, so we'd be just in dead range. Unless I snake tooth necklace. Oh, he's also got that. Yeah, no, we're just straight up dead here. We could not answer double rim and on curve with ring and double one drop pilfers. Like, under normal circumstances, we'd be decent, but... Kudos to you. I like seeing additional rim and decks on ladder. Morag Tong, if you would have been here on turn one, you would have solved the frickin' problem. If you would have just gone there and been, oh, you're a two-drop lethal, I kill you. We're gonna go ahead and hop into a second game and hopefully not get more high rolled than we're hoping to roll. That is the advantage of a 50 card deck, though, and why I'm a continuing advocate of them. Easier to high roll 50 card decks. Alright. It looks like we're gonna be versus Invade. Invade with Ring. I'm gonna keep Rimmin. I've got a good feeling about Rimmin. Alright, we're gonna try to pull off our own combo. Nope. Now we don't have a 2 drop, or a 4 drop. It might be helpful if we ran this deck through our own deck calculator. But then again, Khajiit doesn't have thumbs. Well, Khajiit do. Urus doesn't. Do me a favor and roll Ward. That's not Ward. 
Nor do we have a two drop to follow it up with. I will not. He's probably going to pass the turn since he doesn't need to. Well, I guess he could invade. He doesn't need to, though, and if you don't need to, you want to be holding that stuff in hand. Alright, you've got a combo card. That makes sense. We're going to play out Rimmon, because that's going to lead to a 4-drop, a 5-drop, and then a 6. He's looking to start invading this turn, is my guess. No. Well, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up a race. I, I'm i going to gamble I win this race. I've got cards that ramp really quickly. Now if he's going to keep going face like he's doing, he's going to function as my draw engine. Speak, citizen. Drain is actually great for us. Cast into time. Go ahead and start shutting down some of his drain. The fact that drain is good is it means we break less runes for our pilfer. We do need to get a um, Master of Thieves, though. Or at least control him down that we can get a Senshi Rot Grave Prowler in play. I'm surprised with invade that he has been aggro that feels like a misplay so he's lucky to hit invade off of that all right so we're gonna get our pilfers Lethal is great. I'm going to see if we can top deck a crossbow. That will do. We shut down the gate. Just before he got a triple invade off, too. But it does mean we need to find more removal. Preferably for you, actually. Uh, I will take that as it keeps me in the game. Two, four, six, seven. Wait, six, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hey, we beat Invade. I'm glad I chose to math that. Yeah, he should not have gone face, especially if he had Widow Daedra. Wait until you can get a Widow Daedra in play. I'm Pilfer. I'm not going to control your gate. You control me. But hey, here Khajiit War beats Invade. Also, that's what happens when you don't wear Invade Repellent. What are we at? Nine minutes in? We'll see if we can do a second game here. Third game? 
Second game. Another game! I already forgot how many we're on. Nine minutes means that was probably the first game. And I can't remember what the previous thing we played was, so... Let's see. Spell Sword. If we can avoid the guards, we're fine. If we can get Rimmin, we're fine. That's for avoiding guards. So we got the first question answered. Now if we can find a Rimmin. That's just gonna happen. We're gonna start our Pilfer Empire. On Curve Rimmin, we also got that answer. Khajiit is moving and bathing. He is so happy. Uh, we could see a wrung out Edict here. But that means our opponent is not playing a creature. Which is a great thing. He could also not ring anything out and play Dismantle. Or he could play Mummify, which wasn't on the list of things I was worried about playing. Alright, there's an Elsewhere Lookout. That's a really powerful card we just picked up. So if you're not aware, Pilfer, double Elsewhere Lookout's power and health. So from 1 to 2 to 4 to 8, and so on. You're going to equip the dagger. And we're going to play out this one offers assistance. Lookout. And we're going to trade here. It's too late. So he can take the trade. But the important thing is you're out. And the other important thing is Devious Bandit grabs your Pilfer ability. If we don't get Immolating Blasted. That was the double card. Hmm. Back to the drawing table then. I don't like just playing that out, but I've got to put something on the board. Otherwise, I give him time to develop, and we can use Crusader's Assault to go over. I remember that first game. We got high rolled. My memory strategically blotted it out. Opponent thinking long and hard on this. In my mind, you just play Drain to Field if you've got it. And you don't break runes. Period. You shouldn't do that. So now we've got Satyr's Assault, Archer's Gambit, ping this. You're hiding that there? No, no, that was supposed to go over here. Oh. Uh, you've been moving a 
along now. Yes. So we're in a much better position because of our opponent's misplay. Rimmon's finally eating an edict. I want to find more pilfers and better pilfers. Four, five, six, seven. So I think I'm going to hide you over here. We will make We're going to play both of you out. This one is destined for greatness. You'll go over here as well, but we don't need you out now. Moving along now. Yes. You're now going to go up by plus two, plus two, and get a random keyword. Get to attack again. Then pilfer here first. Pilfer here again. Then get the random keyword. So we've put up a very threatening board. And on 8 Magicka, he's not going to be spoiled for options. Hard removal only removes 2, and that's assuming he has the other 2 Edicts. He could guard. Uh, we have Quicksilver. We can Snake Tooth Necklace to give this Drain. And then try to roll a random keyword that's lethal. Or Breakthrough. Another Immolating Blast would be unfortunate. I can't play around that. We know he's got Tide Crawlers, which is the 2 6 guard. Also, you get to attack twice, so as long as you can survive, we're fine. I had forgotten about that. I was I was assuming this dies. Could Edict and Bollywog? Still dead? No, because he heals for three. That puts him at six. He'd be alive, because Bollywog I'd be forced to bump there and then trade four to face. But he's at six, so he's got two left. Dusk Fang, not Dawn Fang, which means he doesn't get health gain. He just gets a pilfer ability that he doesn't use. Alright, so that's the route he took. Three, four, you become a five attack creature. I have enough magicka to play out both of these? Alright, we're good. And that is game! Alright, so we, we got two games there. It is unfortunate that I think our opponent should have beat us there, but a win is a win, and we will take it. Oh, we'll also take whatever our victory reward is. What do we get? Please don't be 15 in a common. 15 and eh, 100 soul gems. That's not bad. we have any packs to open? We do not. So we're going to go ahead and call it there. I hope you enjoyed the deck. We are a full-time streamer now, so we've got our Patreon linked below. We have our website linked below. I'm going to be adding more resources to the website, uh, resources including a streaming guide in terms of how to set up your stream and what I use for streaming on a bad internet connection. I've had requests for that, so we're going to go ahead and put that there. We're also going to be attempting to move links to both of the TESOL tutorial calculators that we use there. They help you build your deck and refine your deck in different ways. Other than that, Yorg, Uther, Neon, pulling a couple of you down here at the bottom, Tall and Lank, Burning Oak, 
Little Freak, Nikkei, Vigil, PJ Skywalker. Thank you all for supporting us. Your support means the world for to me, and it's why we're able to do this full time. I am hoping to add more names to this list as we continue to grow and expand. I hope you guys have a great day. Best of vibes to you, and I'll see you on the ladder.